Hey there, welcome to Lima Bean Crafting. In today's video, I am going to be sharing how I make these octagon figures using the tower game blocks from Dollar Tree, and we'll be describing how I use them in a variety of ways. So let's get to it. So to start, I'm going to first explain how I made the smaller octagon shapes, and then we will get to the larger one. I used eight wooden blocks in the shape of an octagon for each row. In order to get the angling right, I created a template by first searching for octagon images online and then scaling it in a document on my computer before printing it out. I made sure to get the sides of the octagon to be the length of each wooden block. Once I had my template, I laid the first eight pieces down and then laid down the second row. Once I had everything the way I liked it, I hot glued the second row to the first. I continued this process until I had completed five rows. If you want four rows or less, one block tower game will do. If you want five to nine rows, two block tower games will be needed. The first time that I actually made this, I used it as a pot cover for the little mini Christmas trees that they sold at the Dollar Tree. But I also figured that this would make a really cute shelf and that's how I got this other idea. To make the larger octagon shelf, I began by gluing two tower game blocks together at the ends to make one long piece. For the sake of simplicity, I will call this a side for the remainder of the tutorial. Then, since the inner angles of an octagon will be the same no matter the length of the sides, I used my original template to form my larger shelf. I aligned two of the side pieces along the template and took a third side piece and hot glued it to the top of the other two so that the ends of the second layer side fell at the center of the bottom layer sides. I hope that makes sense. Then I rotated the glued pieces and repeated the process until the first two layers were complete. I then laid out the next layer and once I liked how it looked, I glued the sides down. For this larger octagon shelf, I had a total of four layers and then glued 12 blocks together to form a flat shelf to insert and rest in the octagon. To hang these guys, I used two push pins for the larger octagon and one push pin for each of the smaller octagons. I finished them off by placing some of the fake roses we used as decoration at my wedding inside and called it a day. I really like how this wall art turned out, and for a total of about $3.50 for the entire thing, I think this is a major win. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one.